Hi and welcome back to class of product development and entrepreneurship. I am Hitesh Rayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 2, product development. The learning outcomes of these lectures are to learn the product development and the characteristics of successful product development. So first, we uh, uh, learn the product development. First, we let's understand the meaning of two words. First is the product and second is the development. So first word is the product and product means any marketable thing with some utilities in it. For example, <coughs> sorry, for example, uh, start, year, etc. has the utility to transmit power. And it can be produced either by a labor or through a series of automated process. Second uh, word is the development. Development is an act of making or achieving continuous progress in something by someone. Uh, progress transit from earlier policy like traditional policy to the modern approach. Uh, pro so, the product development is a specialized activities. It can be done to improve the existing product or to introduce the new product in the market. It, can, uh, it is also done to improve the earlier features or techniques or systems. So, next is the product development. Here in this chart, you can see the center there are product development and peripheries there are creations, innovations, improvement and enhancement. So the product development is nothing but the creations, innovations, improvement of existing product or enhance the utility of product. That is nothing but the product development. So, in general, product development is the creations, innovations, utility enhancement or continuous improvement of earlier features like design, service, etc. of the existing product. Or, uh, developing an uh, entire new kind of product to satisfy the requirement of its end user or you can say the customer. So either you can modify the existing product or you can develop a new product that is nothing but the product development. If you look at the example of product development, first is converting landline phones into the wireless handset uh, for the easy portability and full time access of communications. Second example is modify desktop computer into lightweight laptops to easy of transport, uh, easy of portability. Third is the packing of wheat flour in a retail bag for the household consumptions. Fourth is the packing of cooking oil in retail pounds for the household consumption. Fifth is the transform a traditional library into the e-library for the facilities of faster searching and also the accessibility of ebooks. And six is the <coughs> convert simple airplane, <coughs> sorry, convert simple airplane into the fighter set to achieve the greater speed. So this is the uh, examples I consider here, but there are lot of examples you have, you consider it. Here I will uh, only consider on six examples. Uh, next topic is the characteristics of successful product development. So, as a developer, what is your goal if uh, you are developing a new product or uh, you are developing uh, existing product? So, your goal is you have to develop a good quality product with the minimum cost. So, uh, from a pers perspective of investor, successful product development results in product that can be sold profitably. Uh, there are five specific dimensions are commonly used to assess the performance of 
product development happen and all these parameters or all these specific dimensions are ultimately relevant with the profit so this characterizes are discussed below so in figure you can see that uh, the characteristics of successful product development and uh, it, uh, there are five parameters which are dependent depends on the characteristics of successful product development first is the uh, product quality second is the product cost third is the development time fourth is development cost and fifth is the development capability so if you look at the first uh, specific dimensions or parameters there are product qualities the product resulting from the developing effort should be of good quality so your product should be have a good quality uh, it should satisfy the customer needs also it must be reliable, reliable. so if all the ego points are satisfied then the customer will pay uh, the price and the profitability will be achieved next is product cost so it includes the capital investment cost and tooling cost uh, it determines how much profit will achieved if your uh, developing cost or product uh, developing cost is uh, less then you can achieve the good profit Uh, if the product in the market set is high, the customer need at lower price, it must reduce the sales. So you have to consider market. Thus, the market must consider the product cost carefully. So to uh, decide the product cost, you have to also consider the market. Second thing is. development times the development time of product should be less as you develop your product so there must be your developing time as soon as much as less so as your development time is less then your product can launch in market within the short period and you will get the maximum profitability it determines how responsive the company can be uh, to the competitive force and the technical development also it determines the how the responsive the companies are uh, for the to the competitive forces and technical development if the development time is less the company will quickly receive the economical economic return next is development cost it is usually significant factions of investment requirement to achieve the profit it is nothing but the fraction of investment requirement to achieve the profit so the less lesser spending on developing effort or development effort will give the higher profit to the company as your developing effort is less then you will get the high profit next is the development capability so the development team should be capable of developing future project in a better manner so it is not and uh, that you develop any product or you know, anything you have you should uh, have a capability to develop in the future project in a better manner uh, it should be able to develop product more effectively and economically so these are the characteristics of successful product developments so in this lectures we first learned the what is the product developments and then we learned uh, learn uh, characteristics of successful product development in our next lectures we will learn the product development process thank you